The new Subaru BRZ. Now, if you're a gasoline petrol fan, internal combustion fan, you're going to be really, really sad here. You're just going to be crying tears. <laughs> I find this funny. Anyway, the reason being, the new Subaru BRZ will be electric. And this is what it's going to look like. It's actually pretty good. This might mean that instead of being a slow slug, it'll actually perform very, very well. Hello, my friends. I'm Sam Evans. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Uh, the Subaru BRZ. I quite like the design of the current model, the internal combustion model. The thing is, though, they are staggeringly slow. And there's so many apologists that say, oh, you know, it's a it's a sports car, but it's it's meant to go slow. That's part of the enjoyment. I've never heard anyone say this about any other car in history, other than maybe a Mazda Miata or a Mazda MX-5. It's like such a bizarre thing to say. I mean, if you want to drive more slowly, just, I don't know, reduce the power output of your car. But with this thing, you just can't drive it fast. Oh, at least the original Subaru BRZ. But this new version, it's going to be way, way better. But there will be a lot of sad people. Those people probably need to just move with the times, move with the future. It's probably sad people who miss having buttons on their mobile phones as well. So, yeah. The Subaru BRZ right now apparently is not selling very well. So Subaru and Toyota are saying, well, let's make an electric one. That should sell. This is designed to foreshadow the evolution of Subaru Sport. And the electric concept features a pretty impressive design. It mixes soft curves with squared off accents. I think it looks not bad. What do you guys think? What do you think of the design? Let me know in the comments. Subaru hasn't said all that much about the car, but it's got a distinctive front end. It's got a pronounced intake, it's rear wheel drive, it's got vertical air curtains, slender looking headlights, and well, yeah, like I said, it doesn't have an engine. So it has probably virtually perfect 50-50 weight distribution. The current model does not have perfect 50-50 weight distribution. It's got a, an engine right down the front of the car. So that means this car will probably handle significantly better than today's gasoline petrol powered version. You can lay those battery packs out. So you've got almost exactly the same weight in the back as the front. It's pretty common now. It's common even in affordable non-sports car electric vehicles. The front end, well, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of odd. Uh, a lot of people are saying they don't like it. Some people do. Let me know what you think. The rest of the car, though, I think looks pretty good. It's got distinctive fenders, fairly streamlined bodywork, and it's got aerodynamically optimized wheels. They look a bit like Lamborghini type wheels, actually, inspired by a carbon fiber composite. Now, some people think the wheels look terrible. Uh, personally, I think they'd be good for getting more range out of your car, but I actually think they don't look good either. In fact, I think they're quite ugly, the wheels are. In fact, the whole car is just, it's just a bit odd. Anyway. It does have some Cybertruck cues. So if you're into the Tesla Cybertruck, maybe this is worth considering. What do you guys think? Is that a good comparison? I might have to mark there. The rear end is, well, it's pretty simple. Not so kind of offensive as the front. What about specifications? How much power exactly will it have? Well, we don't know, but we do believe it will be built using Gigapress. So a Tesla style Gigapress will be able to stamp the body, making it lighter weight. So guys, you're probably thinking, oh, EVs are too heavy. On average, EVs are 20% heavier than gasoline-powered cars. But now that Toyota has planned on using a Tesla-style Gigapress, that means that basically they can eliminate many, many parts. You can go from 100 parts in the rear subframe and down to one a single part. You're talking a lot more structural rigidity and a lot less weight. This vehicle should be probably just a little bit heavier than the current version, but have a lot more power. That said, though, I still think it looks a bit odd. I'm not sure what the design idea here is. I think a lot of people are not going to like it because of the style, but some people will, though. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.